this is La Mer, and this is Sizzly. So I have no idea what this is. Oh wow, this box is enormous. Whoa, why is that happening? What's happening? <laughs> and there's insects inside. Go, go, go. Go outside of the net. I like to take pictures of things when they're new, so we're gonna see if we can set it up. Can you see my makeup though? Good morning from another vlog with my glasses on because I don't have all of my makeup on yet. I have eyes. I've been using the Guerlain stick, that eyeshadow stick that I recently picked up. Um, that one's really nice for everyday quick eyes. Um, I've got eyebrows on and then clay to po lip and I don't have foundation on yet. So I did start off though with a Color Science SPF. I'll show it to you in a second, I forgot to bring it. Um, and because I'm going to be testing long wear foundations today, and we're going to see how long they wear. If I am going to go a while with foundation, I will be putting sunscreen on because that means I'm wearing it the whole day. I'm probably outside at some point during the day. So I did want to make sure to test it with SPF. Excuse the laundry sound, it's very loud. These kind of hide my discoloration too. And that's why I like these. I think it kind of distracts you from the fact that things aren't actually complete yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. I know a couple of you asked for a makeup tutorial here because you thought the lighting was better. I, I don't know if you can really see. I mean, I think you can see better to some degree, but also it's not as good. We've got two plus sand. I've tried one pump without shaking and then another pump after shaking it and they were two, almost two totally different shades. And I apply both of these with just my uh, fingers. So here we go, not even a full pump. We'll get to see the shades next to each, okay, ow. We'll get to see these shades next to each other as well. It's a very, um, very smooth application. Has a melting into the skin. You know what, I haven't been wearing this one as much though. I've been pulling for the La Mer. I just, I don't know why. I've been enjoying wearing that one. This one, yeah, it's a little bit deep. This one provides me a little bit more color than I actually have. So I wonder what even something lighter would be. But quick, really quick application, very smooth going on. This one has an SPF. Does it have SPF? Does this not have SPF? Oil-free, long-lasting, maybe this doesn't have SPF. But yeah, you can see that it's deeper, clearly, than this side. We're gonna go in with La Mer. This one has SPF 20, the La Mer. I've got the shade Buff, and yeah, they are very different tones. Okay, that's too much also. So this is La Mer and this is Sizzly. So you've got a lot more warmth here and then Sizzly's got a cooler tone to it. So we're gonna make sure I don't have any of that Sizzly on my fingers and make sure I'm picking the right one up. Okay, so this is La Mer. They have a very similar kind of slip to them. Now La Mer does have that fragrance. Some people like it, some people don't like it. It doesn't bother me. I just notice it every time I apply it. I think I forgot how smooth the Sizzly was going on. They feel very similar. So right away, I feel like the La Mer dries down a little bit more than the Sizzly does. Like I think they both are a little bit deep for me, just like a tinge too deep, but. So there they are side by side. This it has a little bit more of a sheen to it, the Sizzly, than does the La Mer. Kind of like, Oh yeah, the video for the Sizzly versus Chantecaille powder went up today. So thank you for watching that. I have comments I need to get back to, um, so we'll do that in a little bit. But it kind of has that same like sheen effect on the Sizzly foundation versus this side. It doesn't have that much of a sheen, um, the La Mer foundation. Interesting. I love trying things on side by side because you get some context. Yet it feels smoother on the Sizzly side than the La Mer side. I think it's visible as well. Hmm. I think we're just gonna put a thin layer on because I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. Yeah, I went in with less than a pump and I used maybe half of that. So a little goes a long way with both of these. Let's go ahead and conceal and then we'll powder with their respective powders as well. So Clay de Peau Concealer Almond. Then Mocha. I do use two of these shades. Just works out better for me. And I'm able to get the middle part, this concealer, a little bit lighter. Um, one thing that's nice about 
the La Mer is that I don't need to color correct with Mocha. The concealer, it they work really, really well together. Sizzly, I think I had to go in and color correct. We'll see how it looks today. Since this is a little bit cooler, the Mocha stands out as warmer. I think that's the issue with the Sizzly. Maybe that's why I haven't been pulling for the Sizzly because the concealer doesn't work as well with the Sizzly in terms of the shade. Uh, as the La Mer. Works really well with La Mer. Today we're also going to bake. I've been making, I've been trying not to bake as much, but I do love this almond flour brownie recipe. I have lots of orders that I put in. I don't know. I kind of just waited. I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't need them right away, but I thought I'd open them with you. Oh, and also we're finally going to do something about the room, <laughs> the third bedroom that we have that has been kind of just collecting stuff ever since we moved, how many years ago, a few years ago. So we're finally doing something with it. We're turning it into a functional space instead of just a place to store everything. Um, so this is the La Mer powder. I do wanna get the La Mer uh, powder brush. So that is on my list of things to get. I think it might help with this application because I think it just needs to go on a lot lighter than the puff offers, one of you was funny, said that that puff was aggressive and I thought that was perfect. It is a very aggressive application when you use the puff that's included. Hopefully you can see by there it is powdered. And then we're gonna go in with the Sizzly. This is the one that went up today, this powder. So I love your questions and I love your suggestions. And that's kind of what's a good thing about talking about or featuring items that aren't um, totally new because I get a lot of information from you because you have a lot of experience with these. So I don't know if you test out as many things as I do, but sometimes it is harder to go in depth because so many products are being tested. So I appreciate it. I appreciate all of the tips because I do want to try the Sizzly under foundation as well. A lot of you have had lots of luck with that. I can see a marked difference between the overall tone of each of these sides. This was the powder I used, the La Mer, and the Sizzly powder is this one right here. So they both look good. I mean, here they are up close. I'm going to add blush though, and I'm going to add my, of course, my favorite blush, the, um, what is my favorite blush? Oh, the Chantecai one. I'm gonna add that one. Let me go get it and then we'll put it on together. Okay, I've got the Chantecai, it's this one. I've been using this nonstop. I don't think I've pulled for any other blush, really, unless I was using it to test it because I just love this one and love the way it looks. Yeah, I say if there's going to be one blush to get this summer, it's this one. I know it is a lot, so if you, of course, don't have the budget for it, um, you don't actually need it, but if you are looking for one blush, I would suggest this one. Oh yeah, one thing I've been loving too is to take the blush and just go up here. I mean, it's not a new thing, but it just kind of pulls things together. I think I need to fix my eyebrow too. It looks a little off. I'm gonna go get some boxes so we can unbox. I'm gonna go get them. The first thing is, from Farfetch. So if you have an order from Farfetch, sometimes they have better selections, better prices, because they are small boutiques from all over the world that you have access to. So I ordered some espadrilles. These are the Castagna wedges. And I actually ordered some from Saks Fifth Avenue. So the sizing on these are weird, because, let me take them out. Here's the shoe. They're really cute. I love espadrilles but their sizing is off because 37 is a US six and a half. The 38, the next size up is a US seven and a half. So I actually ordered up because I didn't know why, I don't know why. Yeah, so I ordered up, I'm not sure why, but they were too big for me. Like the arch was falling in the wrong place and it was a little bit too much space. So I ordered the 37s from Farfetch and it was about, I'm gonna say a $75 difference even with the shipping because the shipping was like $24 on this one versus Saks Fifth Avenue which was no shipping but even at that I think these were like a hundred and then with Saks with free shipping was like 175 so these are actually for my mom because she's been of course home but has been wanting to shop that's one of her favorite pastimes that's probably where I get it from is shopping 
So I've been helping her shop online. I'll FaceTime her and then have the computer up and look for things that she wants and then I order them for her so I'm kind of like her personal shopper. So she wanted to just thank me for being her personal shopper so she said go ahead and get some um, espadrilles that you wanted so I picked these so we're gonna try them. We'll try the and I'm like a very standard seven so not I don't usually stray away from seven too much like seven and a half really is too big for me so I'll try them both on and we can see what they look like. But these are the ones that have a little bit of a um, platform and I like it because it still gives you the height but the heel is not so steep so I can't really wear cute heels like I used to anymore then we've got Sephora oh yeah <laughs> this I got more of these I love these but I'm trying to think is there a more sustainable way to do this like are there ones that you can wash I don't know I'm starting to consider that I love these but I feel like I go through so so many of them and I'm trying to find a way to not waste as much. So let me know if you know of any that are um, sustainable, things that you can wash and use as like a cotton pad without having to throw it away every time. Also, I don't like samples, <laughs> but I did pick some because I thought these might be great resources to help with shade selection. So I've got some Pat McGrath things that we can swatch. I don't actually have this foundation because I almost bought it when they released it, but I had such a hard time figuring out my shade, I gave up because I couldn't see them in person. So that's why I didn't. But now that I'm looking at her, I'm wondering if that's more my shade. I don't know, we'll try it. And then Ilya. I've been interested in their Super Serum Skin Tint, so this has some samples in it. So I like that because then I can compare them for you too. So let me know if you wanna see those. But in general, I don't like samples. I just feel like they clutter everything up. Unless they're deluxe size samples, then, okay, then I like them. Then we've got another, oh, I don't realize that I ordered another Sephora thing and I ordered the same sample, but that's okay. So that's what I'm starting to do. If I can find something that looks useful in terms of swatching shades, then um, I will do that. Oh, see, I've got, what else did I get? I got some Tom Ford samples with this one, the lip colors. So that's a good way to try them without having to buy them and then waste them if you don't like them. So we've got Indian Rose here and True Coral and Scarlet. Rouge. So I might wear those in videos just to test them out. But I did pick this up, the Multi Miracle Glow. It says cleanser, mask, and balm for baby soft skin. So I will talk about this one a little bit more in my favorites, but I liked it enough to pick up the full size. That actually did come from trying a sample, so in that way it worked. Well, it's getting really hot in here. The air conditioning keeps turning on. Okay. And then this came with a deep hydration face cream. Now these are the only, like if I can get a deluxe sample of something that I can travel with though, I will get that kind of a sample. Then we've got this and let's do this one though. This one's fun. So whenever I get a box, you, you probably know which one this is. I get so excited because it's such a surprise. I don't even know that it's, they're sending me something until I see that I have a UPS notification on my email that something's coming. And then, yeah, so I have no idea what this is. I'm sure you can guess who sent this to me <laughs> because they are very generous with their PR. Oh, wow, this box is enormous and heavy. Ta-da! Siage, of course, so I have no idea what's in here, but I know that the box is bigger than the other boxes I've gotten, so and it's heavy as well. I love the bow on this one, <laughs> like, I look so little compared to the box. I think half of it's the element of surprise. Let's open the box. Oh, <laughs> so of course, there's a card in here. Grace, ooh, lots of things that I have no idea what they are. Dear Grace, we are so excited to share with you our newest limited edition summer body collection. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. Oh, how cute is this? Okay, so it looks like this inside. Aw, oh, I love their presentation always. So inside, we've got this hat. <laughs> how cute, House of Siage Beach Club. Okay, let's see. Ooh, let's see how my makeup does with a hat on, because you know, if there's makeup that's gonna rub off, it's gonna be on a hat, which Happens to me all the time. Private Beach Hydrating Facial Mist. Ooh. So it looks like this. It says, after cleansing, spray mist over face, neck, and 
decollete can also be applied as a traditional toner with a cotton pad. Ooh, very fresh. I like that scent. Then we've got this, which is, what is this? Shower gel. Hmm. Ooh, it has the same very fresh kind of um, fragrance to it. Got a couple more things. This hat is so cute. Actually, I will wear this outside um, because I'm by the pool quite a bit this summer. This is a body lotion. Texture and absorbability of this paraben-free lotion is truly unmatched. It features our flagship rice bran oil that provides antioxidant protection for your skin infused with organic oils and botanicals. This exquisite formula is unparalleled. Let's see how it smells. Yeah, that's also very fresh. They all have a very nice light fragrance about them. Um, and then this is a body oil, weightless body oil. And I like body oils. The last one I tried was something that I got from Mariana Hewitt from, um, what is the name of that? There was a beauty, Mecca, Mecca Beauty, I think in Australia, I got a body oil from them. It was really, really nice. Um, so I'm excited for this one. So we'll see how this feels because I like things that are not um, like oily. I like the oil to kind of sink into the skin and not leave a layer. Let's see what this feels like. And that's what I liked about that Mecca one is that it would absorb really nicely into the skin and it wasn't oily. Ooh, and this feels really nice, really hydrating in a soft kind of hydration way. It's not um, greasy at all. Ooh. I like that one. Oh, and they also included this, which is perfect for the pool. <laughs> I can't even fit it in the frame. There we go. <laughs> this is how big it is. So thanks again, House of Siage, for sending those complimentary. I will enjoy using, really enjoy using all of those. Oh, my husband's calling. Hello. Okay, I fixed my eyebrow while I was talking to my husband. Um, yeah, it's a little bit better. Actually, I've been waiting to open this with you and I'm really excited about this one. Mindy from another MK, I asked her which one I should get because she has I think, most if not all of these palettes. So thank you, Mindy, for helping me. I asked her, what should I get? So she said, you need to get this one. So beautiful. So if you haven't seen this, I mean, everyone's done their review. I think I missed the window on this. So I feel like either I do I buy something right away when everyone else is buying it or if I miss the window by like a week, then I need to just let it pass and then wait a while and then do it again because I know people get saturated with the same kind of content. So I try not to do everything that everyone else is doing if I don't get it in time. But this is, yeah, just gorgeous. And these are the shades. I'm sure you've seen this before, but I'm excited to play with these because I was watching the masterclass that she did. Yeah, these are really pretty. Um, and I loved how they used some of these as blush. I think that's what sold me is that you could use like this one as blush and highlighter. And I thought, oh, why didn't I even think of that before? And then I love how they do the um, base. And this was one of the things that she kept going back to was the Primagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. And Mindy suggested that I get the shade um, Black Coffee. So excited about this because this looks like it's really going to help um, define this area, which is I have so much trouble with it. I have so much trouble with it. So I'm excited to give this one a go as well. So we will do that. I've got to do, maybe I'll do that with the Chanel powder because I honestly forgot I had to do that one still because I've been testing out everything else. I think I might have some other things coming. If they come in today, we'll unbox them too. So let me go ahead and just clean this up first. I almost forgot I need to try on the shoes so I can figure out which one I'm keeping the 37s or 38s. So let's see, in case you were um, also curious, let me go wash my hands though because they have some makeup on them. So let's try them on and see how it goes. Yeah, there's definitely more room in the heel here. On this side, there's way more than this. Well, actually they both kind of have a lot of room, don't they? But I feel like these are too big. I feel like there's the arch is wrong, just wrong on this one right here. This remind me of toe shoes. The one time I had toe shoes when I was young, just always adjusting these straps. Okay. Whoa. Why is that happening? What's happening? <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Okay, that is wrong.
These are much better than these. There's too much room. Now I did tighten these, pulling them in the back here just to make it more snug. But if you were a seven, then I would go with 37. 38 has too much room in there. I'm gonna, I've got my laptop here on my little desk. I'm just gonna go ahead and answer some of your questions and respond to comments. So thank you always for commenting. I really appreciate it. I do see them come up immediately, but this morning, what was I doing this morning? I did a little workout. I cleaned the bathrooms. Um, yeah, I was just busy around the house, but I do read them when they come up and then wanna take time to sit down and really be thoughtful about replying. So that's why it takes me a minute to get back to you. Oh, and I love when I comment on other people's videos, like um, some of the bigger people. I commented on Amelia Liana's, her vlog, because she did this beautiful shoe, like shroom, <laughs> as in shoe room, which is gorgeous. Um, so I told her that it inspired me to actually do something with our other bedroom. Um, and she responded, so I really appreciate that. And I see we have some new subscribers, so welcome if you joined us. Thank you so much. Uh, let's look at the comments. It's always hard to navigate through here. I think I'd figure it out by now. So I'd like to start with whoever went first. So yes, um, someone said that they were glad, they were curious about the difference between the two and that the video was helpful. I'm so glad it was helpful. That was a, a tricky one to do because there were the differences were just so minute but very distinct oh someone said they're having trouble deciding between the um in terms of with dry skin and i think maybe yes yeah, sizzly might be better um huh. i hope this didn't make it too complicated so i think that if the shantikai lasts longer and my skin is more oily then it um, probably absorbs oil more easily than the sizzly, which if you have dry skin probably will do better. So that's my thinking behind this reply. One of the people I'm friends with on Instagram is here. I love when I see people from Instagram on YouTube and also from YouTube to Instagram. I think the audiences are different. Let me know if you're on both. Um, but I feel like I don't see a whole lot of overlap. Actually, it's Mindy, <laughs> the one who I mentioned earlier about the Pat McGrath. Oh, so this person's saying they don't like that the Sizzly has a color that deepens the skin color. And I think I agree with that because I think you could see on my skin, even just the slightest tint. So that is one thing depending on your skin tone. So I'm glad they chimed in. I don't know what shade she is, but um, in terms of foundation, but it just confirms that the uh, slight coloring that you saw on my skin is also consistent with other people. So yes, there have been lots of suggestions to use the Sizzly Before Foundation, and I really want to try it. I think I said that over there, I, really do, I do want to try it. So thank you so much for um, letting me know about that. And then let's look at the foundation. Oh, see, so I didn't, I didn't really put my concealer on very well. Can you see my dark spots are coming through? That's okay. Also, that's what I like about vlogs. They don't have to be perfect. Um, hours, about four hours in at this point, I've eaten. It's catching a little bit on, like I've got some dry flaky skin just because of my skincare, but everything else looks good, but I just wonder if you have dry skin. I know long wear can be difficult on more dry skin anyway, but especially up here, it's looking really nice. So if you're oily, so far we're looking really good. It's a nice thin layer. I don't have that much concealer on because you can kind of see my dark spots at this point, um, but everything else looks nice. I think the finish, I think they're looking very similar in terms of the way they're holding up. Um, but I just finished cleaning under my husband's sink because I think soap or something spilled under there. So I always, always will line cabinets, especially if they're new, like these were new cabinets in our old home, that was a new home. So the cabinets were brand new, lining them. And then when we moved and sold that home, we were able to just take off the liner and really not have to clean them that deeply at all because they were pretty much brand new underneath. So actually, let me see if I can show you what that looks like. Here's what the liner looks like. It's just like a clear flexible and it's got little dots on it. So if you dry mugs or cups underneath, underneath, upside down, then there's like some breathing room for them. So I really like this. I think this came from, I want to say Ikea, but anyway. That is the liner that you can just lift up and um, 
throw away if you're moving, so it's really nice. Now that I'm done with that though, I am going to make some brownies. And there's very little sugar, actually. I just ate a lot of rice, and then I ate, well, I ate a little candy after that, and I really feel when I eat sugar now, like it disrupts my balance. So I really try to stay away from sugar just because I don't feel good when I eat it. So this has very little sugar and actually I take it down even more than the recipe. So let's go ahead and make some brownies. You'll notice too, there's more walnuts than anything else in there because I like to distribute the brownies. So it's not as much of the brownie and more walnuts. So it's like walnuts with brownies. Here is the recipe. I don't know, let's see if you can see it, but if you wanna take a snapshot of this, take a snapshot of that direction. go in there for about 30, 45 minutes. Okay, close enough. I think with brownies, it's easy to overdo them, so we're gonna just let them cool. It's been over half an hour, so I think they should be good to go. Let's check in about six hours. Um, I looked in the mirror, they both look really nice. Yeah, they both look really nice. They look very skin-like. I put a very thin layer, of course, on though, but they are holding up pretty well. I haven't gone outside yet. Probably a little bit later this evening. It's really hot outside, so maybe in a couple of hours I'll go out. And I think it's a little bit humid too, so we'll see. But I mean, I'm a little shiny, but everything is intact. Um, the only thing is that there is some dryness that's coming through just around this area, but it's very, it's very minor. But you can definitely see that there is some dry. So yeah, I do wonder about this on dry skin, but it is time to sample brownies. So if you like coconut, you might want to try putting the coconut on top. But if I have more, then I'll put it inside the brownies as well, but I didn't have as much, but it does look like it turned out the way it's supposed to. Okay, I thought we would do an outside check on the makeup, see how it's doing. I just put a little bit of lip gloss on, but I haven't touched up any of my makeup. I think it looks really nice, but I am outside. It's very hot and we'll see how this does in the heat. But I thought I have a few more packages, so I thought we would open them. I wanted some face washcloths that were soft and I found these microfiber ones. So we'll see how they go because I like the cotton ones that I use right now, but they just get so like crunchy over time and they're really abrasive on my face. Um, after like a few months, so we'll see. These look really soft though. They're really nice. They're like almost feel like a velour kind of um, texture and then they have this so you can hang it. I ordered this from Off Fifth. I've been loving the, the apron style dresses for the summer and like for home. So I got this, I found, oh, it has gold in it. I didn't expect that. And then I do like when there's some smocking on it. Like I like the smocking all the way around, but it can get kind of itchy. So this one, I've been looking for smocking in the back. So this one has smocking in the back. This is the back side, and then the front doesn't have it. And it's just blue striped. But you can see it has like, can you see it has gold? <laughs> I didn't expect that because I was just going to wear this at home anyway. So it has, again, those tie straps that I like, and then it has like, tears on it and here's the bottom yeah i'm definitely getting way more hot out here oh yeah also we kind of expanded the but i see books on the inside this isn't working we expanded the um, mosquito net so it now encompasses this whole area so there's like a couch like this directly opposite from me and then there's a table here so this whole section now is covered in mosquito netting so we got this and i've been using this for a long time the ultimate miracle worker spf 30 but I also kind of want to try another day cream but I just am curious about other
creams at this point for the day. So let me know, I'd love to know. But for now, I will keep using this. And it's really quite warm. So let me see what the temperature is. Oh, it's 92. No, it's 90. It feels really humid though. And there's insects inside. Go, go, go. Go outside of the net. How did they get in here? <laughs> I wanted to see if I could take a picture of the House of CR stuff right here on the um, this little thing. I don't know, we'll see. But I feel like, I like to take pictures of things when they're new. So we're gonna see if we can set it up. Can you see my makeup though? Let's take a look at the makeup from this angle. It looks a little shiny. I haven't powdered or anything though. And it is about um, eight hours into wear at this point. And I feel like they are equally performing, so. making dinner but if you've never tried these taco shells these are by Siete they are grain free taco shells made with avocado oil so they're made with cassava and they are the crunchiest taco shells I think we've ever had only problem with these is that even though they're crunchy they're very delicate so the many didn't make it they were already broken for the most part by the time I opened it but that's okay we will repurpose those Our dinner is served nice and simple I decided not to add a whole bunch of stuff. Just to, it's um, ground bison actually, and then just a little bit of cheese. We are at about the 11 hour mark. Is that right? Yeah, about 11 hours. And I just realized I didn't talk about the claims. La Mer, so the La Mer side, which is this side, says weightless touch and natural buildable coverage for luxurious long wear, blending, healing hydration, and luminous color. The treatment refines the look of skin, smoothing imperfections while enhancing skin's natural beauty. Um, stays true even in humidity. So it was quite humid today. And I have to say this side did really well with the humidity. Um, this one does have 29 shades. It has a larger shade selection. It was actually it was hottest when I was cooking. So it was really hot in the kitchen. Um, so I did perspire and it looks really nice and intact. Um, the Sizzly. It's a light diffusing oil free foundation, reveals skin that looks instantly radiant and flawless. Um, skin imperfections look to minimize and blurred effect on the skin texture. So this does have more again, kind of like the powder where it's a little bit more perfected in terms of the texture, not as matte as the La Mer. Day after day, a mineral complex acts to enhance the complexion's natural radiance. Buckwheat seed extract acts as an anti-pollution shield. Extracts of mallow and gardenia flower provide hydration and comfort for fresh feeling skin. Although I don't really sense a fragrance on this one as much as I do on the La Mer. Long lasting, lightweight and blendable texture offers a very natural velvety finish and a medium buildable coverage, oil free. So I don't know if I would call this one velvety. I think it was more velvety on the La Mer side if you're comparing the two. This was, I don't know, not velvety. It was like skin like I think. Um, and then there are 14 shades in the Sizzly. I mean, I think they both did really well. I also think that skin type will have a lot to do with which one will do better on you. I feel like La Mer, if you were oilier, more oily, then La Mer might be better because it did have more of a mattifying, just slightly more mattifying than the Sizzly. I think the Sizzly might be good for dry skin types, which I'm a little surprised about. I did have some dry, like a little bit of dryness right around here and it was visible with both of these. I really like how they did because foundations that don't last well, you'll see it kind of settle into the pores. That's where I notice it the most in terms of settling. And I didn't really have that with either one of these. If you saw the Sizzly on an aside, if you saw the Sizzly powder versus Shantikai, I think the Sizzly powder does better with the Sizzly foundation. It performed much better paired with the Sizzly. Um, so the La Mer with the La Mer powder, also did well. So I see that these both pair well with their respective powders. So, which makes sense because when they're formulating things, they're thinking about how they fit well with other items that are in the line, or at least that's my assumption it would make sense. Um, but they're both really nice. I think it comes down to color match um, ultimately. So you saw that the undertones were so different on the sand plus and the buff. So if you're warmer, 
I would go with the buff shade. If you are cooler, I would go with sand plus, two plus sand. But they're both, they're both really beautiful. I mean, they're comparable. It's very, very slight in terms of their differences. Nothing that is outstanding in terms of like what made one so much better than the other. They're both very nice. It comes down to a personal preference, color match, and skin type, I think. But I can attest to both of them. They did really nicely. And that's it for the vlog, so please take care of each other, stay well, and if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks!